you need to give me a chance to talk. Because you are talking. I am, you're just stopping me at every moment. That'll be good. Is it hard to get done? Yeah, I'm putting that in there. No, no, no. You cut we it have out. to be real with our audience. You cutting it out. just left Yellowstone and we headed out of the north gate of Yellowstone and we're going into Montana. We had never been to Montana before. Have you guys been to Montana? Uh, that was yeah. the first time. We had no sooner left Yellowstone than we came into Bozeman and discovered that there was a Costco in Bozeman. So we stopped at the Costco. We tend to, we eat almost all our meals in the trailer and so oh, at any given time we probably have a week's worth of groceries yeah i would say we usually have a bunch of groceries so we had been in yellowstone and grand tetons for a little over a week combined and so we stopped at costco and reloaded one of the things that i think everybody looks forward to when we stop at costco is pizza the pizza hot dogs. the pizza so we had to get us ourselves a hot pizza at Costco. I guess things out of the oven are th is, is what you don't typically get when, when you're camping, or we don't, anyway. Since we had stopped and spent too much time at Costco, we were only to, able to make it as far as Butte, Montana that first evening. But as we came down the hill into Butte, when, you, when you're coming along on the interstate heading westbound, you come down the hill and there's, there's a statue of, um, I think it was a statue of Jesus up on top of the hill. And the sun was setting and you can, you can see out over the city and it was just a gorgeous drive coming down. And as soon as you come down into town, there's an exit with a Walmart there. So we pulled into that Walmart. The Walmarts, they're really nice because they don't cost money, but that's not the main reason we stay there. It's just convenience. It eliminates the need for, um, having reservations and knowing where you're going to stay because if you're traveling on the interstate at least every hour you're going to probably come across a walmart that uh you know you'll be able to stay at so it allows us to drive well into the night usually we'll drive in you know 8 9 10 p.m and and know that we're going to be able to pull in and have a spot we came into i think the name of the town was deer lodge and saw a sign for Grant Corps Ranch. We spent a whole day there, right? Not the whole day, but we were there a lot longer than we thought we'd be. Yeah. We only drove four miles that day. So the Grant Corps Ranch pays homage to the day of the open range cowboy. So when we got into the visitor center, we saw there was a chest that had lots of costumes, cowboy costumes. Yeah, we got to dress up with the stuff they had in the bin. Yeah, gloves, gloves boots. boots, bandanas, which you stole from me. Vests. Um, vests, hats, badges. of the house so you have to schedule to take a tour I think they happen like every hour I was going in with the camera and then the lady said no we don't we don't allow pictures in the house do y'all remember why she said that it was um, because due to light they were restoring the house and uh, light would make it uh, the like flashes from flashes cameras? would somehow make it to okay. where it wouldn't be restored right 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 yeah okay and the cloth would fade anyway i didn't know this rule and so you get to see a few seconds inside the house here
so we came out the back side of the house after the tour and right behind the house was the blacksmith he was a nice guy he, yeah uh, he was he was nice he spent a lot of time talking with us and uh, y'all remember anything about him um not really no. <laughs> okay well i remember him saying that he was a farrier remember what a farrier was uh someone like who moved. made the move the ships move ships the ferry the ferries no, no. a farrier right. um is a per is a blacksmith that specialized in horseshoes and so he took care of the hooves of, of horses he said that up properly it's a nightmare i mean there's somebody walking into the world you know, most people could hook that up the horse they had to it's, uh, it gets kind of and we had gotten a uh, metal pot hook from him. Yeah, we picked up a little souvenir. So just past the blacksmith was the chuck wagon and they had an actual cowboy out there and he had his fire going in an authentic chuck wagon and he had cowboy coffee in the fire for us and um, they got to try some. And Black you, coffee was really, really strong. Made you want to gag? No, no. No, it didn't make me want to gag. It was just very, very strong. Yeah. Maybe you need to put a little creamer in that. <laughs> yeah, we could have used creamer and sugar, but I guess cowboy coffee, they put the, cow the coffee right in the can and put it in the fire all day. And so it gets overdone, a little burnt tasting. Y'all yeah. remember that? It was, yeah. Little burnt little burnt tasting. So the boys earned another Ranger badge. Yeah. And then we hit the road again, headed towards Glacier. So since the ranch took up a large part of our day, we knew we weren't going to make it all the way to Glacier this afternoon. And so we knew we were going to pull up a little short. We were taking Highway 209 up to the west side of Glacier. And this brings you up along Sealy Lake, Swan Lake, and Flathead Lake. There were plenty of Forest Service campgrounds and, and various private campgrounds. And the Forest Service campground that we stopped at was called Big Larch. And it was it was really our taste. We, it's the kind of campground we like. The forest had the feeling of a, like a northwest rainforest type of a feel with a lot of conifers. And so we really liked it. We had privacy. The spaces were, were really big. To top it all off, it was 14 bucks a night. What is this, New Mexico? <laughs> New Mexico. Yeah, New Mexico was 14 too, wasn't it? Yeah, for electricity. All, yeah, all the state parks in New Mexico were 14, and they had utilities for 14 a night. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just checked my notes. It wasn't 14. It was 10 a night. 10 so, a night. Ooh, yeah. With utilities? Yeah, without utilities. Ooh, that's nice. Since we had stopped at Costco and we had a trailer full of groceries and we had turned in a little early for the day, we were able to enjoy an evening around camp and we cooked a good dinner. I remember pork chops. Do y'all remember that? No, I don't remember really. any most you, of our dinners. Do you remember the campground? No. No. The dinner was pork chops and we found some. You remember we went to our neighbor and he had the, we borrowed an axe? Yeah. And we were able to, we came across a lot of firewood, so we don't travel with firewood, but every now and then we come across a campsite that, that someone had left firewood. And so we were able to have a fire. We put the chairs around the campfire while we cooked. I fell through my chair. Yeah, well. I it, think that chair was only meant for 90 pounds. It was a, <laughs> I think it was a $10 Walmart chair that we had already used for about 10 years.
drinker, but I do travel with a couple of beers in the trailer and this was an evening I really enjoyed having a beer next to the campfire and a nice warm meal. Those are some good days. <laughs> Except we can't drink beer. Yeah. That's why we have yeah. root beer. Keep us safe as we pray unto you and may we be under your will and just thank you for everything we've done. I saw what you was doing behind me in the video. Not <laughs> high five. <laughs> no, no high five for you. Steak. Most. Most things the most. <laughs> A little downtime does the spirit good, and the next morning we woke up rested and ready to take on Glacier. <laughs>